Hi and welcome back. I'm in my Kedamannur home where I've grown up. My dad was managing this property until he passed away. We have to take over the responsibility of managing rubber estate. When you cut the rubber, as the sap falls into and hardens here, it, this is the rubber sap, and this gets sold. It's collected and taken to that smokehouse over there, and it's smoked for a couple of days before being sold. Let me show you the smoking process. The rubber is collected. below light a fire for the smoke uh, using firewood one of the issues with this setup is that if the fire gets too much or uh, sparks fly up the rubber which is highly inflammable catches fire we've been trying to redesign the smokehouse so that it's much more safer and it doesn't catch fire easily so this is the area where the uh, fire is lit the furnace and there's two such furnaces, one this side and one that side. They use logs like this and light the fire. And as you can see, it's completely open on top. Smoke from here rises and smokes the um, rubber on top. And the danger is that the, uh, it can set fire to the rubber and it's happened a couple of times uh, what I'm hoping to do is separate out the furnace from the top by having a slab in between and uh, on the slab we're going to make some holes uh, and put a few bends so that uh, when the smoke goes above only the smoke is able to get passed to the next stage uh, and up onto the rubber and not uh, sparks or fire itself. What I'd like to do at some stage is close off the top portion where the rubber is kept so that the smoke collects around it before being allowed to escape. So, But that will have to come at a later stage. So right now we're just going to modify this bit and see if it works. So now two ledges have been constructed on either side. Now they have to build one more uh, median to support the slab and the slab will come here. Uh, they will cut the slab to make the holes and, and bring it over.
so uh, the work for today is complete. Basically what they've done is they've lowered the height, they removed one uh, brick from the top so that the height is lower. That makes it easier for the workers to work while loading uh, the brick and also now since this is closed off you can see this is what we've constructed you can see the furnace below the smoke uh, will come out through there and come uh, through these bends and uh, the heat will also come forth through the bends and it reduces the chances of sparks coming upwards so there is no risk of fire coming up and so we don't need a high wall uh, to block off uh, the, um, the, the fire, the sparks that come through. So hence, it makes sense to lower the wall. And uh, so this part is more or less complete. So the next day we decided to continue and uh, build the other side. And this time, instead of covering it with prefabricated uh, concrete slabs, we decided to construct our own uh, concrete slab. And uh, to do this, we had to first construct a wooden platform upon which to pour the concrete. And we did this with bamboo and wood. The next day and all the work has been completed we now just have to uh, remove this platform and we're going to light a test fire to see how things have worked out and the smoke is coming out through the top and uh, as expected it's uh, coming out through the bends and there's no sparks coming through. Everything seems to be going on as expected. Now we need to cover up uh, the top part. So, so far we have completely um, built up the wall to um, close out 
the, the entire top area. Now we have to close the uh, top of this with some panels and build a frame here to fix a, a door so that it can be enclosed and that we will be doing today. So we've now welded the doors in front and it's closed off. You can see here. The frame has been welded and the door has been bolted onto the uh, frame. And we've kept these uh, pipes on top on which we'll uh, close it off with concrete or uh, ferro slab um, sheets so that's the only thing remaining now and uh, this section is divided into two as two doors and this is the way it is now here we'll add those uh, pipes at the bottom and put the net on top and on top we close it off with ferro slab uh, sheets and that's pretty much it and at some point we'll have to add a chimney on top so that the smoke doesn't blow towards the house and that's it the smoke hose is pretty much done so now we've covered the top portion with ferro slab cement and you can see here the net below on which the um, lay, uh, latex cups will rest the rubber and top is covered with a uh, slab cement and uh, this is how it looks inside for now we will not close those gaps because it's a outlet for the smoke but eventually we plan to uh, close off the gaps and put a chimney. So that's pretty much the end of the construction. So now all that's left is to test it out. Testing the uh, efficacy of the smokehouse. We're quite happy with the way it's turned out and looks like the project was a grand success.